Hello there ladies and gentlemen, this is Tech Astonish, and I'm going to be showing you uh, some more thoughts on Windows 8 and uh, its issues and its its pros. <laughs> Alright, the first uh, issue I found is that when you in install WordPress onto your uh, onto your desktop or laptop, uh, uh, and you run it off, not off the WordPress.com, uh, but you run it off your own website and hosting, uh, so not off the WordPress site. Uh, so where you're actually doing that whole uh, hosting with the whole software into the FTP and stuff. Uh, so so you cannot add your site that runs off of that. You can only use the WordPress. Yeah. <laughs> so I I just gave it a one star rating at a at a out of five, otherwise I would have put a zero, but you can't do that. It, it just frustrates me, but you always have your site admin panel instead of having to use the whole that thing as well. But So it's not that big of a deal, uh, but it's still manageable. And also, what I've found is that when you go to your start menu, or no, not, not start menu, when you try to run Skype, sometimes you have trouble signing in. What I, what I mean by that is it just keeps loading after you click sign in and log into your account. It just keeps loading and loading and loading. It never really logs into your account. That's what I found that, uh, that gives me issues uh, because I always I always use Skype and it, it, it's just something I need uh, on my computer and or my phone. Uh, so that's another issue. What I really liked or what I really hated is that you had the whole sign out and then go uh, and then go off the lock screen type thing where you have to slide up and then I have to click power off or maybe I'm just doing it all wrong or maybe I just figured it out right now I just click power uh, but you have to go to all the way to uh, settings here you have to go all the way to settings and then click power as to where on the old desktop you could just click uh, right here you could just go to your start menu and then click power off which I find that's so much easier but I really do like the new start menu but I find that is just a whole uh, another story and this is just a big problem um, if they were to uh, add a whole start menu uh, or a taskbar uh, tweak to where you could power it off from your taskbar or something like that I, I just find I need to have uh, an easy way to pow power off my computer uh, uh, but otherwise, I find it great, and I really, uh, if you guys don't like any what I've just showed you, uh, then I, I just wouldn't recommend it. But if if you don't really care, but you could work around it and just deal with it, I find that uh, I find that doable as well. Uh, but I was just sharing my opinion with Windows 8, uh, what I found with Windows 8. Uh, but but it's it's going great. I'll, I'll continue to cover some some um, things I find as 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 time goes along. And also, when Windows 8 comes out, I will continue to bring you guys more information and uh, stuff you might not know that you should know with your Windows 8 computer. Alright, thank you guys, and have a nice day.